All right. Today I'm going to be trying to build a uh, charcoal furnace or uh, a biochar furnace, uh, whichever one. I'm sure there'll be some of both coming out of it if it works. I'm going to make the video. Whether it works or not, we shall see. Uh, I'm working on some stuff I've seen on videos and improving it with some experience I've had uh, myself with making these kind of uh, devices. I've, I've made several rocket stoves that worked pretty good. So I'm incorporating the rocket stove and uh, some other examples that I've seen online into these pieces and to make them into the uh, furnace. Uh, what I'll be using is a couple of scraps of angle iron some fairly big like 8 by 10 channel like by quarter inch an old uh, grate out of a grill some quarter inch 6 inch pipe 255 gallon drums and some sheet metal and anything else that I use, I'll try to uh, note in the video. So I'm going to start by making the bottom of the furnace. And doing that, I'm going to cut the bottom off of one of the barrels right in the middle of the rib. So it makes a little cradle for the other barrel to sit in. Okay, so now after grinding a hole in it and nearly melting my camera, I am going to continue the cut with the jigsaw and finish cutting all the way around. So now I've taken the portion of barrel, cut off, and set the other barrel inside of it. That'll soon be all welded up. All right, so we ended up we had to cut a little more off, so we're just finishing that up now. Just setting up the fire chamber for the hole to be cut in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, scraped it. tight on the bottom there. Yeah, the whole thing's tight. Sprung out when I... We've got uh, the bottom cut out, we've got the middle set in, the uh, burn chamber set in there and lining up for to cut the hole where the uh, exhaust or chimney will be put up through.
So now we have the stove and it's just setting inside the bottom pan and I put a little piece under the bottom to shim it up just to get it level and I have the uh, reaction chamber or the chamber that's going to be doing the charcoal sitting on top of it and uh, I'm going to slide that on down there and then we're going to be tacking, tacking the bottom of that onto that just a few little welds to hold it in place and uh, get it all shored up and we'll be ready to go here pretty soon. All right, exactly eight hours of work and a bunch of spare parts. I had to go to Lowe's for the, for the plumbing to do the syngas reburn or the syngas burn that goes back into the fire chamber. And it is complete and finished ready to go we're going to try it out here in just a little bit and I'll open it up and you can look inside and we can see if it works <laughs> <laughs> 